Ah, uh, good day everyone and welcome to today's video. I barely got any sleep last night because I was up with Monty all night. Luckily today she is actually doing better, but I was up putting like cold compresses on her belly, trying to break her fever because she still had one. She's feeling better. She had her medicine this morning as well. Her boobies are still inflamed, but a lot of them have gone down in size. I think this is the one that has the mastitis in it and these are all good, but the antibiotics are meant to fix that. It's definitely gone down in swelling size, so that's a positive. But let's go check on the puppies. I think they're actually gonna go outside today, so I'm excited for that. So they have been using their litter box, which is amazing. They are having a little bit of accidents, but definitely not as bad. Do you babies want to go outside today? Okay. Hello. First one's coming. First one's going outside. Hello, Miss Aspen is the loudest, so ask and you shall receive, Miss Aspen. Okay. Grass. Stunned. The woman was too stunned to move. She's in shock. Suddenly, she's got no words to describe her feelings. Interesting. Who are they? Fern and Yara. Oh, girlies. Girlish. They're heading out. Oh, she bumped your head, didn't she, Bye. <laughs> Did she walk into it? What is this force field? I don't think they like the see through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm joined in on the puppy club and I'm not mad about it. I love it. Who's back there? Who's back there crying? Are you being restricted by the invisible force field? Oh, it's a little twig. Hi, little twig. I feel like I need to tell them a story. Like they're just like sitting here waiting. All right, children, let me tell you a story of the day you were born. You guys, I'm literally in heaven right now. I'm keeping all of you guys, I hope you know. Oh, you can kisses. So the sun has set, so the puppies are back inside, but they're doing a really good job of keeping their area clean and going poop in their litter boxes. Yeah, I'm just very impressed with the smartness of these pepper tins. Okay, so this is how I get Monty into bed. She's literally a princess. If I pick her up just like this, and then I put her here, she already knows exactly what I do. And then I turn around this way, and then I just lay her back, right on her back. Yeah. So it's this one, this one, and this one. The rest are shriveling up, which is so nice. It's not comfortable if she's laying directly on them. So she likes to be on her back. She literally slept here right next to me the whole night. And it like freaked me out. Like I just kept waking up and I'm like, she's still breathing, she's still breathing. Like, you know, going a little crazy, thinking that she's not gonna make it through the night, but it's not a life threatening situation, I don't think. But having a fever, it's just scary. And I just love her so much, so I just like him thinking the worst, but... I love you so much, womans. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm starting off in the puppy pen. It's been a crazy morning. Monty's doing better, but unfortunately, there are now puppies that are sick. So I'm in the pen with them right now. I fed them breakfast and two of them were not interested in eating at all. It was Winter and Bo. And then I brought them back in here and some of them started throwing up. So we're gonna be going to the vet today, but I'm just taking in Bo and Winter. I think it might just be worms that they're dealing with because nothing else has changed. I don't know. It's just very confusing and odd that this is all happening. So I have my little princess here with me, just giving her a little bit of a loving attention right now. She's just like very lethargic today. She didn't want to eat. Definitely bring her into the bed along with Bo. You don't feel so well. We'll get you feeling better, sweet girl. I did freak myself out a little bit because I did a little research on mastitis and like puppies and stuff and apparently it's toxic for puppies to breastfeed while the mom has mastitis so I don't know if it's just catching up to them now or it's something different it might just be worms but that's what we're going to the vet to get it all figured out. Well Daniel has come to help me take the puppies to the vet. We're taking a total of five of them today. I have Little Miss Winter in my arms. Celebrity. Celebrity. So basically we're bringing anyone who has shown any symptoms, whether that's vomiting or diarrhea, 
but yeah we're headed there now and we'll update you hopefully with good news i have a feeling it's just parasites but yeah. it's so weird no, it's like it's gonna be good literally just like in a day this all happened very quickly you have to think of like when you're a kid like how quickly you would get sick and how like it would you'd be fine and then like all of a sudden you just yeah. like wouldn't feel good true someone found the chips in the waiting room they always have really good snacks here <laughs> I'm excited to see what this vet bill is going to be since I literally just spent over a thousand on Monty. It's good. It's good. No. It's good for my wallet. No. We're back. These babies are all going to be medicated. So they all got shots, which basically injected them with water. So they're all hydrated. And then they all got, it's like a sweet molasses that you put on their roof of their mouth. And then they got worm, dewormer. They got a dewormer. Everybody ate at the vet except for Winter. So I have to keep an eye on her and make sure that she gets some food. But we are gonna separate the puppies. So the healthy ones that are, have no issues, it'll be easier for us to keep track. So the ones that are struggling right now, they're gonna be in here. That way we can monitor their poop, see if it's getting a little more firm. But they had a rough day today at the vet. Although we were there for a couple hours and we think that the vets were just playing with the puppies in the back. They were, they were in the back filming TikToks and they were <laughs> posting them on Craigslist for sale. So you guys wanna drop? Go keep an eye out. This was alarming at first, but Winter had some diarrhea and this came out. Obviously called the vet immediately and they said not to be alarmed, that that's just something that can happen when the intestines get inflamed. So they recommended an antibiotic that she's gonna have to go on for a little bit. So I have to go back to the vet and grab some medication for her. Her poor little belly's gone through it. Alrighty, so I'm back from the vet. Are you interested in some food? I got the medication, but I want to give her some food first. Oh, you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, my girl, you're eating. So this is a gastrointestinal food that they're now going to be having because the vet thinks that it was just too much of a shock to their system, maybe? Uh, she said like that could be a potential. Wait, you have to keep eating. You just lay. Here, what if I hand feed you it? I don't want to give her the antibiotics on an empty stomach is basically what I'm trying to do. So the vet also gave me this, which is like the molasses stuff I was talking about that you put on the roof of their mouth, but it's like very sweet and it gives them the calories that they need. And now I'm going to give you your medicine because I don't want to see any more magenta liquid coming out of you. Hold on. This is really good that she's like being active right now. I know, it doesn't taste very good. Here, you know what does taste good? This. I know. Okay, these babies just ate a bunch of their new food, all except for winter, of course. But now I need to give them their other medication. Oh, hello. First up is Mr. Grizzly. Would you like your medication, sir? Mm. You have to swallow. You're gonna like that. You got a milk mustache. A little milk mustache. That is so cute. Next we have Huckleberry, who is a very big chunky man. Oh my gosh. Take up the whole screen. Mm. You're dripping a little bit. Okay, good boy. All right, next is Mr. Bo. Oh, we got a little on your face. Good boy. Yeah. All righty, now we got Timber. Hold on, give a little more. Oh, I'm sorry, I know, I know. <laughs> You're being a little dramatic. Are you okay, buddy? That didn't taste very yummy, hmm. He was like, it looks like milk, but it surely don't taste like it. 
Now I'm gonna hold off on giving Yaro her medication because I just gave her some, so I don't wanna like overwhelm her stomach, especially because she has not eaten. So we'll wait on her. Someone forgot to edit. Everything will be linked down below. Everything will be linked down below and everything will be linked down below and the products will be Stop. Who edited this? I did, I forgot the <laughs> ending. My personal code will be linked. <laughs> I will hope, hope you guys enjoy. Keep it up. Keep it up. Daniel. It was so nasty. It was literally 30 seconds and I I literally Keep thought, it up. Hope it up. Have, 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 have. Wow. Wow. If you guys aren't subscribed, go subscribe to my my channel. My, uh, Do it again. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> at Mr. Prada. Anyways, Get it is the. Page. I'm not on your page. Get off my channel. It is the next day, and I have some great news. I didn't record last night, but they did start eating. It was such a relief. Honestly, I was just so exhausted yesterday from the craziness. But they all started eating last night, and yes, it was such a relief, especially winter eat. And then this morning, they also all ate. So let's go check in on them and see how they're doing. Alrighty, the babies are eating. They're slobbering it down just a little bit to wet the whistle. Don't want to overwhelm their tummies. They're still adjusting. So we split them up into groups while they eat just so they don't fight over food. They're still learning these tray situation instead of the litter boxes. They're getting a little bit better at it, right? Yeah. We shall see. Well, I'm covered in puppies again, and I'm very happy to say they've all pretty much fully recovered from the sickness. It's been a crazy freaking week with everything that happened with Monty to then the puppies. I'm just happy that everybody is feeling so much better and in much better spirits. They are pooping more solidly. They have energy. It's just such a relief. So I think this might be a good place to end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it if you didn't know. I'm posting about these puppies all the time on my vlog channel. So if you want to keep up over there, link is down below. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Good damn bye.